Hi everyone, welcome to Woodstock Flower Farm. My name's Tina and our farm is located on the south coast of New South Wales, Australia. And to all my new buds tuning in for the first time, welcome to my channel. So it is Christmas on Monday. So I just wanna say Merry Christmas to all of you. I cannot believe how fast this year has gone. Like it's Christmas already, it's just crazy. So I am gonna be doing a lot of Christmassy flowers this weekend to sell at our roadside stand. And speaking of roadside stand, we are actually relocating the stand from the side of the road and moving it back into the garage. Now, moving it back into the garage of the house there just really allows me to be able to work during the hot sun and through all the weather, the wind and the rain as well, so that I can still be open and sell flowers on days that are like that. And being able to sell from within the garage also allows me to be able to sell more things. So I'll be able to sell candles and vases and you know all those sorts of things. I'll be able to build up a sort of a little shop area in there and I'll be able to sell much more, which I'm really, really excited about. I was just finding it really difficult being on the side of the road. Like everything was really good about it, but I was finding that I was only able to sell a certain amount because I, like I couldn't haul everything into town a couple of times a day just to be there for a couple of hours. It was it was not really worth it and um, it also just wouldn't fit in my car to go there. And also any sort of weather was um, affecting what I was able to sell. So I had dried flowers and I couldn't sell them most of the time because it was raining or it was windy and it would blow them away. Um, I did have an umbrella because a couple of you were asking like, you should put a sh some shade up over the top. And I, I did have an umbrella, but um, I'd only put it up like 50% of the time because um, it would be windy and um, I wouldn't be able to put it up. So I'm just feeling like if I move back into the garage space, I'm protected from all the elements and I should be able to sell a lot more and it should be a lot easier. I have been at the roadside stand for a while now and I'm hoping that people have gotten used to me being in that spot and they'll be okay with just going down the driveway a bit into the garage. Uh, I think it will be good. I think it'll be better, um, but hey, we just got to try these things and see where it goes and where it takes us. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine. I'll do something else. But yeah, you just got to give these things a go and see how it all goes. So this weekend being the weekend before Christmas, I am almost fully booked out for you picks here on the farm, which means that I won't be able to pick too much from out there. Like I can't just go strip all the flowers and then there's nothing left for people to pick from. And also another issue that I am having as well is that say we have like high winds come through on the farm that can knock me back to zero flowers. And if I'm gonna be in the garage space, um, I wanna be able to be open on a regular basis so people know that I'm gonna be open and I'm not like, um, open and they're not open because I think that just um, people won't want to come then it's because it's not like a regular thing so I've had to have a good think about what am I going to do when the weather comes through and I've got no flowers and I can't be open up in the little garage space what am I going to do what am I going to do when I'm I've got you pickers coming out and I can't really cut a whole lot from the farm so what am I gonna do? So I've come up with the idea and I'm just gonna try it out is I am gonna buy some flowers in either from the market or other flower farmers and just to help out when I need it. And we're just gonna see how that goes and if it's a good idea or not, I don't know. But I think it will help with me being open consistently at the little garage space there and allowing it to be more like a shop. But anyway, I thought I would just share those things with you today. I'm pretty excited with seeing where the business takes me. But if you have any ideas or anything like that as I'm going along in this 
growing of the business journey, uh, you can put them in the comments below and um, I'll ha have a read of them. So I have actually gone and picked some things already because it has been on and off raining today. So I am gonna go out, it has stopped for the time being. I'm gonna go out, I do need to pick a couple more things. So let's go have a look and then I'll show you all the flowers that we have in. All right, I'm gonna pick some Queen Anne's lace here. We have so much of it here. And as you can see, it's all just completely flopped over from all the rain that we've been having. But the rain has been good because we have had some really hot days out here. So we're happy for a little bit of rain, even if it does flop my flowers over. <laughs> All right, I've got lots of Queen Anne's lace here. I just think that like that would go really nice with like the Christmas theme. It's a fly hanging around me. Um, yeah, I think that would look so good. Imagine if I just sold like big bunches like that. That's so pretty. And I'm also going to cut some Gloriosa daisies as well. the Gloriosa Daisies, which are also known as Black Eyed Susans. I think these are really cute. I think they'll go well in the Christmassy bunches because I think they look like little stars or even like little lights on a Christmas tree, but I think they're really nice. And I'm going to pick some Pittosporum as well. Some of the Pittosporum, it looks absolutely amazing. I think it's the perfect Christmassy thing. And I'm not quite sure what this hedge is called, but I am gonna pick some stems from this because I think that this will go just perfect in the bunches. <laughs> All right, I've got a couple of those stems and we'll just start off with that and I can always come down and get some more if I need it. All right, so we've got all our flowers here. So some of these flowers we've gotten in and most of them I've picked myself, but look at everything. It's all nice Christmassy colors as well and they all look so good. So firstly, I just wanted to show you these little things that I made before we start making bouquets up. I just went and got some little decoration things and I just put some wire on them so they would like stay up like that and like this little one here and they're so they're just on like a longer wire stem like that. And what I want to do, what I'm thinking is to sort of put them in the bouquet arrangements to make them more Christmassy. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm just gonna give it a go and see if I like it or not. I've also got some like longer ones here that are like on much longer stems, which I might use, I'm not sure, but I kind of figure anything that I don't end up using, I can always put away and use for next year. I feel like all nice, like surrounded by all the flowers. It's so exciting. So I don't really know where to start. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna go with the flow and just put things together um, and see what happens. I think I wanna make the arrangements this time bigger, just so that they are nice and festive and nice big uh, arrangements. Okay, so I've started off with using that hedge 
piece that I cut out, which I think looks really good. I think it's um, giving me some Christmas vibes. There's a fly hanging around me. Um, and then I put a little bit of, let's get a smaller one. Oh, that's so big. I might use that one in the next one. It looks so good in it, but like, Oh, let me show you up close. So we've got the hedge piece. We've got a little bit of Christmas bush in there. We've got a uh, Queen Anne's lace. And then I was gonna put a bit of Pittosporum in there as well. And I think that looks really nice. All right, let's start with putting some flowers in. I've got some roses behind here, some nice little red roses. If you can see them there and I think those will look nice in there and I've got some red carnations as well which I think will look nice too I'm gonna put a white carnation in as well and I think I want to put some snapdragons in oh yeah that's nice And maybe I'll try putting some of these Gloriosa daisies in as well, which I think it look really good in there. It's hard to know sometimes, like, if it's going to look good or not, but I just try it. Trial and error, that's all this is, just trial and error put some flowers in and hope for the best. And I think I wanna put one of the little decoration things in that I had in there as well. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's cute. I um, put two of those in the back because I think they look really good there. Might put in a yellow Snapdragon at the back there and maybe another one on that side. And then a couple of zinnias through the front. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. Um, I've got like some zinnias at the front. We've got like carnations, some gloriosa daisies, snapdragons. And I put those little decoration ornament things too through the back there. And I don't know. <laughs> I think it looks good. Um, I'm definitely like the sort of person I just like to add all sorts of different colors in. So it's hard to keep it on the red and white theme when I've got like the other colors like yellows and stuff. But I think it looks nice. What do we think? I think it's nice. I think I'm thrown off a little bit because I'm not used to packing so much greenery into bunches I'm usually just it's just flowers only so it seems a little bit different but um, I think it's nice still let's wrap it and we'll see we'll see what it looks like all right so here we have it I put a little bow down the bottom. I'm not the best at tying bows, but put a little gold bow. We've got some red wrapping and our pretty little Christmas bunch. Okay, so I'm gonna do something similar again. I'm gonna start off with that hedge stem there. I'm gonna put a bit of Pittosporum in the back, a little bit of Christmas bush, some Queen Anne's lace as well, which might go better on this side. Right, and now I am going to add in some of my flowers that I've got here. I'm just popping in some snapdragons on the side. I will put in some spray roses. They're very thorny. I can feel them digging into me. I might just lay it down a bit like that. Um, I'm going to put in some carnations on the side. So I might do white and red carnations. One at the back there, I think that's nice. And I'll put some 
zinnias in through the front and I might put a little bit of this fever few in as well so it's sort of cute adds like a cute little touch to it okay so this is the second one that I've made up I'm much happier with this one I think the placement of it all is a lot better so I think I'm gonna make up a couple more that look just like this one other ones as well looking very cute and look at the little ornament thing right in the center there it looks really good okay so I finished making those ones that were more similar the bigger ones so I'm gonna make some different ones now, maybe some slightly smaller ones. So I've just started off with some Christmas bush, some Pittosporum, I've got some Queen Anne's lace in here as well. And I think I'm going to add in some snapdragons because I have a lot of those, so we should use them up. So I'm gonna put those in like that. And then I think I will put in a little bit of fever few as well and we'll put in some of these spray roses on the side there as well and I might put in some pretty carnations on that side there and I might pop a little gloriosa daisy at the back corner and I'll add some zinnias around the front here and then we won't forget as well we'll put in some of these little ornaments that I've made up on the sides here so I think for these ones that are a touch smaller I'm going to use some white wrapping paper to wrap them in so we've got like a mix of red and some white wrapped ones and here we have our cute little bunch and you can see here I've got these little ornaments they're little bells and on this side here I've got like a little bobble that I've made there just to add to it all right so I'm gonna start off doing that very similar thing again with some pittosporum some Christmas bush and I'm gonna put some Queen Anne's lace in around like that and a little bit of fever few at the back side there then I'm going to add in some snapdragons around like that and and I'm going to add in some spray roses and then some carnations on the sides here and a couple of zinnias at the front here and just lastly a little gloriosa daisy daisy up in the back here and this is the next one and as you can see I've put the little bobble in this one and this little thing here so I think that looks really nice all right so I'm going to continue to do some more that are just like that and then I'll be back okay so I've finished all the flowers and what I'm going to do today so we've got eight of these bigger ones here and then we have eight of the smaller ones here. There's a better view of the smaller ones down here. As you can see, I've put like the little ornaments in each one. I think they look nice and Christmassy. And here are some of the larger ones. So I've done what I can do for now. I might do some more things tonight. I still need to set up the garage ready for the stand so I might get to that later tonight I'm not sure 
But until then, we will see how this all goes. Hi everyone, I'm back and it's Thursday night. It's right before we have our first sale day tomorrow. So I thought I'd come out to the garage space here and set up early just to make sure that we have everything right and we've got everything that we need. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the space. This space was actually my dad's garage and he had like years of building tools everywhere through here. It was quite messy, um, but mum and I spent a lot of time in here cleaning the space up. So I think we've done a pretty good job considering how it looked. So I'm just gonna show you the space and what it looks like right now and then I'll show you at the end when we finish our setup. So this is what the garage space looks like at the moment. I've just put some room dividers up just to help with, you know, have a nicer, clearer background for when people come in here. And then I've just got some tables here. I've got all my stuff down here that I need to set up. And then we have, over here we've got some vases and some candles and stuff like that along this bench. And mum's in here helping me uh, place everything out nicely. And we've got vases and candles and little dried posies that I made. So we're going to do a bit of cleaning up and sorting out in here, ready for tomorrow. And I'll show you what it looks like then. Okay, so we have finished. We've done the best that we can do. So this section over here is where all the fresh flowers are gonna go and I've got more that need to come out. And then this will be the reception area and I have some very cute little flower crown kits for sale there. And then over on the wall we have all our vases and candles and everything like that for sale up there. And over here we have dried flowers that are for sale. So I think it's looking as best that we can get it so far. It's, as you can see, a lot better than being up at the roadside stand just because like, look how much more I can sell. So I'll keep you posted on how we go tomorrow at the stand. And it's also raining outside, which is in such a good route. Like I can set up and do all this stuff and not get any rain on me. It is just such a good feeling. Okay, so it's Friday morning and we've arrived. I'm pretty nervous to see what today's like, but I've just got some more flowers that I'm just gonna put up on the side here. So I have this option down here to put these down here, but I'm like, I think they're a little bit low and I was going to put this cart in the front there, but I think it's like in the way of people. Like if I put that there, then it's like in the way for them and they can't see these ones very well. So I might need like a, a little bench or something through here eventually, but I think I'm going to test out maybe putting two of the bunches there in the cart and maybe move it around and see what I like. Maybe if I put it on an angle like that, it might look better. And then people can still, can still get up over there. I think that's nice. And maybe if I just put like that one there and maybe if I move these ones up, I'll actually put that one up there. I'll actually be able to fit this one up on the end here like 
that. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. This is what we're gonna go with today. The flowers there, we've got our little reception area there and then vases and all the dried flowers on that side. So just a quick check in, it's 9 a.m. now and which means that we've been here for an hour and I have turned over $475. I'm like, that is so crazy. So a lot of people I know have been coming in, which has been really, really nice. Uh, we've sold fresh flowers, some vases, some dried flowers, and a flower crown kit. Okay, so we finished our very first day here in the garage, and I'm just gonna go over with you what we have sold. So we sold about eight bouquets, fresh bouquets, we sold two dried bouquets. We sold some vases, some dried posies, and we also sold a flower crown kit. So all up for the day, we turned over $663. It is the biggest day that I have ever had. Um, I really think that having the vases and all those little extra things is what helped get that to bump up a bit higher but overall I am just so happy and so thankful to everyone who came and supported me today um, I'm really excited so um, I guess we will see what tomorrow brings and we'll go from there good morning everyone it is Saturday morning and I'm in the garage setting up and getting ready for another day of selling all my flowers. So I actually got a couple of different things in yesterday afternoon that I wanted to show you. So I made these little candles myself and I put like a little sticker on them. So I'm gonna sell some of these as well. I also made some bigger candles as well i feel like i'm doing show and tell but <laughs> i had some candles um i made lots of bath bombs i'll show you the whole the whole thing i made bath bombs that i'll be able to sell um i also made so i handmade these which i'm really happy about um i made some little greeting cards i'm sorry i knocked the camera but i made some greeting cards there's all sorts of like cute little designs in here like this one um this one's pretty cute anyway so there's a lot of like different cute little designs in there that people will be able to buy as well i've also gotten some merchandise so i haven't received all of it but i got these little um t-shirts in some different sizes and they also say it on the back as well Woodstock Flower Farm. So I got some of these in that I'll be able to sell. I also got in some Woodstock Flower Farm hats so they just sit on like that uh, which are really really nice. I got these tote bags as well that say Woodstock Flower Farm on them. They also have a zipper across the top, which is really good. I like them when they have zippers. So I'm actually gonna take one of these for myself and use it for, use it for dancing. So when I go out dancing, I never have a big enough bag, but you don't want it too big, but you need to fit like two pairs of shoes in, like change your clothes, like your bag and all that sort of stuff. So these are gonna be perfect for me to take with me. So I really like these. So I do have a couple of other things that are coming as well, which I'm really excited about. And I'm excited to share everything here with you as well. And I also just wanted to show you the flowers this morning and what I've got in. These ones are so pretty down here. And yeah, so this is what I've got so far. I've still got to finish setting up a little bit over there. I've got my little flower crown kits here as well and all my vases and some candles. 
and dried flowers. So I'm here today from eight to 11. So I'll check in with you guys when it's finished and we'll see how we've gone today. Okay, so we're all done, we're all finished. And today, all we sold was fresh flowers. We had a turnover of $220 for today, which is actually an average day. So I am happy with that. And yesterday when I went home, I recalculated properly the amount that we made yesterday and I did end up getting a $2 tip. So we actually turned over $665 for yesterday and 220 for today, which means that over the last two days, we have turned over $885. Now, keeping in mind, this is just a turnover amount. This is not how much I've made. I did buy in some of the flowers there just to help out with the weekend so that all those things add up and will cost me money. But for a turnover of $885, that is a fantastic weekend. It's not our highest, but it is pretty close to being um, up there as definitely above average. But yesterday was definitely our best day that we've ever had. So I'm really happy about that. I think the space is going really well. Um, a lot of people are really liking it. And I did have every single person that came in today and saw the little cards here that I made, that everyone made a comment on them today. So I was really excited about that. So the last two days have actually been quite hot outside, not super hot, uh, but hot enough that there's no way that I would have been able to stay out in the hot sun for as long as what I've been able to stay here in the garage the flowers just wouldn't have been able to take it and it's actually quite cool in here surprisingly so i think i'm on the right path i think it's all working out remember if you're enjoying this content you can hit the like and the subscribe button down below that just helps with my channel and you'll be able to stay up with all my future content that comes out and if you haven't already you can go back and watch my previous videos i think a couple of months ago is when i actually started the roadside stand out on the road so you can go and watch all that back to see where we've actually come to now. So I've got to go home now. I've got heaps of gardening to do and my whole afternoon is completely full with you pickers, which will be a lots of fun. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.